Throughout the current One UI 5 beta program with Android 13 on eligible Galaxy devices, which in this case has been the Galaxy S22 Ultra for us, the overall response to beta 3 has been huge and even bigger than what we experienced and saw with beta 1 and beta 2, mostly thanks to improvements to customization of the lock screen. If we compare it to GoodLock's lock start extension, which also allows you to create new lock screens and always on display styles, which is more stable, gives more options and works the best. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our quick overview and comparison of Beta 3 versus Lockstar from GoodLock. We highly recommend you take the time and watch our full Beta 3 breakdown video from previous. Good luck with Lockstar. In this video, we'll be running on the Galaxy S22 Plus, running One UI 4.1 on the latest October security patch, while the Galaxy S22 Ultra is still running One UI 5 Beta 3. With that away, let's dive straight into it. But let's start with Lockstar with Good Luck running on the S22 Plus. From the top, you have the option to change the lock icon with five different icon styles split in the open and closed look. You have the option to select different colors below with the ability to pick custom colors, which open up options between swatches and spectrum, a hex, red, green, and blue input field, and six slots to save your custom colors. Going back to the lock icons, you even have the option to select two pictures or videos from your gallery to replace a normal lock icon. Compare that to beta 3, this is something that is missing natively. A quick word from video sponsor Soundcore with the Liberty 4 Truly Wireless Earbuds. The Liberty 4 offers a premium sound via an ACAA 3.0 coaxial acoustic system, which offers a crisp and clear sound with punchy bass, accurate mids, and clear trebles thanks to the dual dynamic drivers. The Liberty 4 supports 360 spatial audio with head tracking, working alongside the built-in gyroscope and spatial audio algorithm, allowing for a unique listening experience with your music and videos. Backed with the ability to set your own custom EQ presets with high-res audio using LDAC, the Soundcore Liberty 4 offers great sound at a great price. Speaking of sound, there is active noise cancelling with transparency mode and support for the latest Bluetooth 5.3 standard for the most stable wireless connection and efficiency. In conjunction with Soundcore's wellness app, the Liberty 4 has in-ear heart rate sensors which detect your heart rate while listening throughout the day. Topping it off, you get excellent battery life with up to 9 hours of listening and 7 hours with active noise cancelling and support for fast charging over USB-C. Link in the description below where you can pick up your Liberty 4 and thank you to Soundcore for sponsoring this video. Next is the clock style and date widget. You have the option to select between five different clock styles with a scale slider to increase or decrease the size up to 1.2x and down to 0.7x. You can also place the clock widget in pretty much any position on the lock screen. Apart from that, it looks like that is all you can do when it comes to lock style. If we compare it to beta 3, the options here are way more extensive with the ability to resize the widget directly from the box, pick between six font styles, change between five different clock styles, and also have the option to change the colors of the font and clocks. What's a nice touch is how smooth the animations and transitions are when resizing, and this is something that reacts real time to the other five clock widgets and styles. You do lack the ability to position the widget anywhere on the lock screen. Next is notification type. On Lockstar, when selecting icon only, you have the option to scale the size of the icons between 0.7x up to 1.2x with a scale slider, a transparency slider from 0 to 80, and also the ability to change the color of the icon as well. When selecting the details option, you have a slider for the number of notifications, which can be displayed up to three and down to one. Beta 3, on the other hand, has no customization options when you select icon only. When selecting details, the transparency slider appears and an auto reverse text toggle also appears. Beta 3 does give you the option to input your contact information, which is there in case your device is lost. Next is the app shortcuts. Lockstar gives you two options either to keep the default apps, which are the phone app and the camera app, or a row of up to six apps of your choice, which can be aligned in four different positions on the lock screen. Compare that to beta 3, you have the option to change 
the two default apps on the left and the right to your liking with no other options available. Lockstar gives you the ability to add stickers on the lock screen with the option to scale the size between 0.6 up to 1.9. 360 degree rotation option and a transparency slider from 0 to 80. With the Theme Park Good Lock extension installed, you can access more stickers both paid and free. As a last look, Lockstar does also give you additional options for the always on display, which works alongside the native always on display options built in, with the ability to add the battery percentage to the clock style widget and change the charging info style at the bottom. It's safe to say that a lot of the new lock screen customization options on Beta 3 took inspiration from Lockstar extension from Goodlock, which in our opinion is not a bad thing at all. At times there are more options available on Lockstar, but we think Beta 3 has taken all the best parts, made it smoother and more stable without it feeling overwhelming and generally more refined. Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comment section below. For the latest news on the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.